Hello, grade six. Our lesson today is area. The objectives are define area, identify the area of a triangle, rectangle, parallelogram, square, and circle, break down shapes to calculate their areas, applications, and to do lists. Have you ever asked yourself what is an area and its uses in real life? If your parents want to put a new carpet in your room, how will they know how much carpet to buy? Or if your parents want to put wallpaper, how much they will need? They will use area. Area is the number of equal square units that cover the surface of the closed figure. For example, in this rectangle, we have 45 squares. Then, the area is equal to 45 square units. Area of a triangle, we have two cases, the case of any triangle and the case of right triangle. The area of any triangle is equal to base times the height over 2. As for the area of right triangle, it's similar to the area of any triangle, which is equal to base times height over 2, but we use the legs of a triangle. For example, in triangle ABC that is right at A, the legs are AC and AB. Then the area of this triangle is equal to AC times AB over 2. Area of square is equal to side times side or side square. Area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. Area of a circle is equal to pi r square. And as we know, we always take pi approximately equal to 3.14. Area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height. And now we are going to find the areas of the following. The first one is a rectangle of length 5 cm and width 3 cm. The area of a rectangle is equal to length times width equals 5 times 3 equals 15 cm squared. The second one is a square of side 8. The area of a square is equal to side times side or side square equals 8 square equals 64 units squared, since we have no unit. As for the third one, it's a parallelogram of base 6 cm and height 4 cm. The area of the parallelogram is equal to base times height, equals 6 times 4, equals 24 cm squared. The fourth one is a circle of radius 2. The area of the circle is equal to pi r squared. We take pi approximately equals 3.14 into 2 square, which is the radius in this case, equals 3.14 times 4 equals 12.56 cm square. And now we are going to calculate the area of irregular shapes. How to find the area of irregular shapes? We have several steps. The first one, we have to find any unknown side. Second, Define the irregular shapes into squares, rectangles, or triangles if you can. Third, find the area of each shape alone. And fourth, add the areas together to find the total area of the shape or subtract the areas to find the area of shaded part. For example, we have this irregular shape. We are going to calculate its area. First, we divide this irregular shape into a square and a rectangle. Then, we are going to find the area of each shape alone. Let us start with the square. Area of the square, which is A1, is equal to side square. But the side is unknown. We are going to calculate the side of this square. We have two ways. Either we can subtract 9 minus 5 in order to know this side. It's equal to 4 cm. Or we can subtract 10 minus 6. So we can know this side which is equal to 4 cm as well since the square have 4 equal sides. Then the side of this square is equal to 4 cm. Its area is equal to side square equals 4 square equals 16 cm square. As for area 2 which is the area of this rectangle is equal to length times width. We have the length is equal to 10 cm and the width is equal to 5. Then, 10 times 5 is equal to 50 cm square. We calculated the areas of the square and the rectangle. 
Now we are going to calculate the total area of the irregular shape by adding up the two areas. Area 1 of the square plus area 2 of the rectangle. It's equal to 16 plus 50 equals 66 centimeters square. And now let us solve. We are going to find the area of the shaded figure and given this sketch. First, we find the areas of rectangle, square, and circle. And then we calculate the area of the shaded part by subtracting the areas of square and circle together from the area of the rectangle. First, we start calculating the area of a rectangle, which is equal to length times width. The length is 12 and the width is 10. Then 12 times 10 is equal to 120 centimeters square. As for the area of square is equal to side square or side times side equals 3 square equals 9 centimeters square. As for the area of a circle, it's equal to pi r square. Pi, we know it, it's equal to 3.14 and the radius here is equal to 2. Since the diameter is equal to 4, then radius equals diameter divided by 2, then 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Then we multiply 3.14 by 4, it's equal to 12.56 centimeters square. In this case, we calculated the areas of rectangle, square, and the circle. Now we are going to calculate the area of the shaded part, which is equal to the area of a rectangle, minus the addition of the two areas of a square and the circle. Area of a rectangle is 120 minus into area of a square is 9 plus area of circle is 12.56 then the area of the shaded part is equal to 98.44 centimeters square and now it's your turn to find the area of the following and to practice this in your book miss you all my lovely students and take care